Good afternoon, Utah. I hope that you're having a terrific Tuesday. Our headlines today include moisture moving in with a heavy rainfall potential mainly in the southern half of the state, but even along the Wasatch Front. Isolated showers and thunderstorms will be possible later this afternoon. After today, the entire state will be trending cooler, and we also could find more times of wet weather over the next several days, but we'll talk more about that coming up in just a moment. When we look at the radar, most of the shower activity continues to be in the southern half of the state, more so on the scattered side of things, but we are beginning to see a couple of light showers now developing in the southern half of Tuella County. Also have a couple of light showers that are now making their way up towards Hanksville. However, when you expand the view and you look at the bigger picture of things, cloud coverage continues to make its way into the northern half half of the state. Meanwhile, you look down in central and northern Arizona, more showers and thunderstorms are on the way as an area of low pressure is driving all of this and that low pressure continues to move off to the northeast as well. So we'll see more showers and thunderstorms as we move into the afternoon across the southern half of the state. And some of those showers and thunderstorms could bring times of heavy rain, which could result in some flash flooding. There's a marginal risk for excessive rainfall that could lead to flash flooding in the southern half of the state for today. So if you're going to be, going to be heading to any of our national parks for today, that's something you're going to want to take into consideration. And if you're in the southern half of the state, just make sure that you're a little extra of the extra aware of the weather as we go from this afternoon into the early evening. Here's the current view from Bryce Canyon, and it's definitely raining out there. You can definitely tell we got a, a few wet streets out there. But the rainfall, that is steady for sure down in Bryce Canyon. As I mentioned, if you're heading to our national parks today, flash flooding is not only a possibility, but in most of our parks, it's also going to be a probability. So that means we'll probably see some flash flooding of those dry slots and or for those dry slots and also for those dry washes in those slot canyons. So something to take into consideration for today might not be the best day to go for a hike. We're going to go with the daytime high of 80 degrees in Salt Lake City. Got a good amount of sunshine around right now, but that cloud coverage will continue to increase and that will limit our temperature close to 80 degrees. Meanwhile, that rain chance again will be a little bit higher in the southern half of the state with a daytime high of 61 degrees in Cedar City and 77 degrees in St. George. Let's time things out for you here on the future cast beginning at one o'clock this afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms will continue to move north as we go throughout this afternoon, becoming a little bit more isolated as they move into the northern half of the state. But as I showed you down in Arizona, those showers and thunderstorms by later this afternoon will be moving into our southernmost communities and they'll continue to move north as well. Shower activity becomes more isolated as we move into the nighttime hours, still keeping at least a chance for isolated showers for most across the Beehive State throughout the overnight hours. And then as we move into tomorrow morning, still could see some isolated showers throughout the day as that low pressure continues to move through the Beehive State. And then tomorrow evening, the best chance for wet weather is predominantly going to be in the northwestern corner of the state. But for St. George, thunderstorms likely for later this afternoon, the daytime high of 77 degrees. We'll see a.m. showers tomorrow with a high of 80 degrees, mostly dry for Thursday, but showers do make a return with cooler temperatures for your Friday and Saturday. Along the Wasatch Front, isolated showers and thunderstorms possible later this afternoon into the evening. Then we'll see more isolated showers for your Wednesday and Thursday. Not going to be raining all the time, but that chance will be there. Then we got a good chance for wet weather heading into Friday. Then we'll be much cooler heading into the upcoming weekend. 